Hello everyone, so here we have a common problem. The good old uh, buttons that are not aligned and that it doesn't look very good. Uh, my demo is not styled uh, very much, but uh, it should be enough to show you how to get these buttons to be aligned consistently. So. Well, actually, if you make it uh, in the way I, I build this, so here I have a title element, a text element, and here I have a list element, and here I have a button element in, in its own column. And to make the border, the, uh, the column has the border settings. So here, and the same for every column. And then I just made them uh, shorter or longer, depending. Of course, if it was on an actual website, uh, you would want to improve the styling a bit. But for the example, it should be enough. So if, uh, if you build it like this, you only have to go in your column. And then under Advanced, custom CSS and here you can go to uh, my article the link will be in the description and move down to step 2 of method 1 and just paste it paste the code in here and it should work right away. Of course, you will need Elementor Pro for this. If you are free, it's simple. You just go here. You add a class my align column, and and then uh, and then actually you can go to step four and copy this code instead. And now you will want to add it. Uh, either to your team customizer additional CSS or you can also add it in an HTML element. So first let me remove this so that you can see it works and we can add it in an HTML element uh, anywhere on the page as long as we place it into style tags. And there you go. So that's how you can easily align the buttons to, uh, to the bottom of a column, whether you have Elementor Free or Elementor Pro. And for this one, it's the same. So let's uh, just quickly make it for the uh, Elementor Pro. So you just go copy this code and place it under custom CSS. And there you have it. So this is the easiest way to align the buttons to the bottom. And now if we go back here and we refresh, uh, maybe uh, I need to refresh. Uh, Let's see. So why is it not working? It's working here from the editor. So probably it's just a problem of uh, uh, with my, uh, there we have it. All right. So it just, uh, probably I need to regenerate the CSS and it would have fixed this. Sometimes uh, this happens. Okay, so this is it for aligning these buttons to the bottom. But uh, now you see uh, there is something else that could be improved in this design. Like here we have more text, here we have less text, the list item doesn't start at the same place. 
So now, where, uh, how, how would we want this? And if we align this also to the bottom, then it means this one will start from here. This one will start from very low. So it's not ideal. So, well, so okay. So first, let's let's remove. Let me remove the CSS and let me delete this HTML element. Okay, so now we are back. So here is another way to place the buttons at the bottom, but uh, you will quickly see why I did not even recommend it. It's uh, going in the column options under layout and setting the vertical align to space between. So you see, this will also always place the button at the bottom, but you see what happens with the, the rest of the content. So it can become uh, yeah, uh, very uh, ugly. So that's why I, I did not even mention this. So not ideal at all. And this like this. So this is still quite a bit better than this version here, which is uh, yeah, not great. If, if you have just a little bit of content, then you could try with this very simple space between option, but generally it doesn't give good results. So let's uh, let's place it back how it was before. And now let me show you the other example with uh, my uh, other demonstration here. So this one, for this one, we will try to make it even uh, better than what we have here by using CSS grid instead. And this is a little bit more complex. So again, in uh, the columns option under advanced in custom CSS. So if you will have grid, uh, you will add the, the code that I provide uh, under method two here. So you can copy the code and paste it here which I already have. You will get this error. You can ignore it. Uh, the code is valid and it works, but it doesn't sh uh, show from the editor as opposed to the CSS flex method, which does show here. But here you will need to refresh the page and look at it from the front end. So that's what we will do actually. So because you will see uh, how useful it is to look at it from here. So let's just come here and inspect. And now, uh, so this, um, okay. Those are the children and here is the grid in this container. So, Let me zoom out a bit so that we can see better. Okay. So here is the grid. So now we can have a good representation. And here the display grid and grid template rows. So this is the important part. How many uh, Uh, like how much room you want to allocate to each element. So this is one fraction, this is two fraction, four fractions, and one fraction. So in total, we have eight fractions here. So it means that this, the, the space that this occupies is divided in eight. And, and then uh, here we can choose like the title only has one, this has two, this has four, and the button has one. So, and why this is useful is that then we can get a consistent design across all these uh, different options here, uh, across all the three columns. And we need to uh, be certain that all of them will fit in here. So you can see right now as it is, the premium column might not have enough space to fit the paragraph in the two fraction uh, part. 
So this air probably would not fit where this is air when we visualize uh, by overing over the uh, grid container. So what we mean is that you will want to adjust this. So let's say three fractions. And now, now all of them should fit, except maybe the list item for the premium. So then maybe get this to five fractions. Uh, that looks good. So let's try like this. And another very important thing to note is that here I have four elements in, in my column. So in my grid template rows, I have four different uh, amount sets to, to all of them. And, and you will need this. So if you have three elements, you will need only three of them. If you have six elements, you will need six of them. So let's just uh, copy the CSS here. Not, not this. This is what the selector gives us from Elementor. So let's uh, zoom back in. So an engine, let's just replace this with this. Okay. So, and now here again, it's, it's the preview is not uh, actualizing itself. We need to refresh the page for this. And then this other part here, aligning self end, just means that this will aligning at the bottom of, the, of its uh, grid container. So if we go back here, Let's uh, move down a bit. So, okay, so here we can see the grid container. And uh, the button barely fits, but let's say the grid container was a bit larger. Like for demonstration, let's just make this three fractions. Okay, now you can see. So, it has a lot of space in its uh, own uh, uh, area, the button, but it's aligned at the bottom. So that's what, uh, uh, that's what this CSS here is for, align self and. All right, so now let's uh, quickly add the same CSS to uh, this column. And then also this column. Okay, and now let's uh, preview. And here we have the results. Certainly not uh, perfect. Uh, of course, uh, a bit of styling would be needed, but you can see uh, the work from the grid and how, how amazing it is. So now everything is aligned. The paragraphs are, are aligned perfectly. The list items are aligned and the buttons are aligned. So. Uh, very uh, uh, nicely ordered. So uh, that's that's how you can uh, easily uh, align to the bottom uh, uh, these uh, uh, buttons. And uh, I hope this was helpful. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.